Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. We are finally here at the last mission for Medal of Honor Escape, the V2 Rocket Plant. Now, this is a tough, tough, tough mission. I am going to have trouble with it. Hopefully, I don't die too much. Maybe once per level, I'll be fine with that. But it is another three-level mission. So we have Buzz Bomb Assembly, Vengeance Production, and whatever that word is. I'm not going to try and say it, but I'm pretty sure that's like the missile silo, rocket silo, whatever. But with that being said, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into and what Hargrove has to tell us for this final mission of the game. This war is going to end soon, and unfortunately so may the Grand Alliance that won it. Ike's going to let the Soviets into Berlin first, and once that happens, everything will change. The spoils of this war are not going to be land or riches, but scientific research. The Germans have a huge head start in jet propulsion and rocketry, technology that's going to change the world we live in. This mission that you begin today is why you were brought into the OSS. It's been in the planning stages since before D-Day, since before I even knew your name. Lieutenant, you're being sent back into Germany one last time on a mission that just may determine the fate of the free world. 150 miles southwest of Berlin lies the Hartz Mountain Range. Buried deep inside it is the Nordhausen Mittelwerk plant, where the Nazis have been building their rockets ever since the Pienemunde raid in 43. The facility is run by the SS, and the toughest of the Waffen divisions are stationed there. The Germans consider the V2 program their last hope, and they'll protect it at all costs. We need to learn everything the Germans know, and bluntly, we can't let the Soviets find out. Your mission is to turn their own terror weapon against them, capture their research, analyze it the best you can, then use it to destroy the facility. I've been told that luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. If that's the case, Lieutenant, I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope to see you back in London soon. All right, so I'm not looking forward to this. I know that you get a rocket launcher in this mission, but I'm going to try not to use it too much because if it's like in the open, you pretty much, you know, kill yourself pretty quickly. But here we go. Buzz bomb assembly. So Patterson, we've reached the end of our journey. Oh, well, don't worry, Manon. We'll see you in the next game in the prequel. Colonel Hargrove briefed me on the mission over a year ago. At this time, I told him, or at the time, I told him I didn't think he'd ever find a field operative who could pull it off. Well, I am happy to say that I have been proved wrong. I, I want to say proven wrong because that's how I am reading that. It's been hard to get reliable intelligence out of Nordhausen. The Waffen SS has been extremely careful about screening any civilian workers for possible infiltrators. Luckily, one of the scientists, Dr. Grunick, from the University of Warsaw, has been feeding us scraps of information for the past couple of months. His French is rather poor, but if I understand his last communication correctly, the best way into the factory is through the B-1 buzz bomb assembly area. See if you can acquire the Germans' V-1 rocket list. Based on range and trajectory, we can backtrack from an intended target location to find a launch site the V-1 is a nasty weapon, but it's easy to knock them out of commission, at least when they're on the ground. I speak from experience. I did a few raids on the France-based sites. Use a demolition charge to destroy the launch controls, then open the blast doors to exit through the V-2 access tunnel. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. I can do that. Definitely. Here we go, guys. Ooh, not looking forward to it. Give me the rocket. I always knew there was one more guy right there. There's usually two guys right here, but I don't know where they are. Ooh, buddy, that was close. Jimmy, you almost... You almost bit the dust there, sir. Part of me thought about just going through this level with unlimited ammo. But, uh... Yeah. 
kind of defeats the, the fun of trying to get, not unlimited ammo, invincibility. And it kind of just defeats the whole trying not to get killed in the game. It makes for better reactions, too, if you ask me. You know, we're just going to go ahead and pick up that field surgeon pack because I'm not going to be coming all the way back here anytime soon. So we're just going to pick it up and get out of town. Wow, that's very warped. That was very warped and it hurt my eyes. See, sometimes you just shoot the rocket from afar and you're good. I don't think I can do previous weapons in this game, or with my control setup right now, so I have to constantly keep going through each weapon choice. That was a close one. That was very close, like almost died there too. Jimmy, what the hell? He just... Come on! Problem solved. Give me that canteen. Here we go. No, sir. Not today. You just go ahead and stay right there. I knew it. I knew it. What a moron got himself killed, idiot. Kicking a grenade. Why would you kick a grenade? That it just makes no sense to me. Why would you go and kick it into a wall? I mean, he probably didn't know. He's probably like, yeah, I'm just going to kick it. Get out of here. Well, that was a close one. Again, could have died. Just get him. Get him, Jimmy. I don't even know where these guys went. Okay, Jimmy, you're like out of ammo there. We got this guy here. Did I get him? Did he die? Is he dead? Is that the exit? No. Well, we're going to have to find that exit. Is this the exit? You know, I'm just I'm looking for when I get through with the level. I want to know where to go to get out of here. And uh yeah, it's gonna be uh It's gonna be tough trying to find it. It's probably one of these no uh, that's not one of the doors. This is actually the door to Just shoot a rocket in there. Maybe not, because they're getting a little too close to me. Did I get him? Morons. All right, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Kill everything. Okay, but there's the... Oh. You know what, that... Yeah, that probably was the doors that I was looking at. Ooh, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna need this. Like, now. <laughs> Alright, let's try not to toss any grenades at me this time, my guys. My dudes. I think I got a two for one there. Yes, I did. Certainly did. Get 
he was he was fishing for a grenade. What an ass. What an ass. Holy crap. Took care of that little problem, but, 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 there we go. Oh my god, that was too close. Woo, I thought I was going to eat it there. I thought that was going to be the end of me. So let's see what my mission evaluation was. Two stars, all right. Well, I mean, it's good. I got a good rating. That's fine. Four out of four objectives completed. Number of shots fired, 306. Number of hits, 142. Accuracy, 46. Preferred weapon, the bar, B-A-R. Uh, I think this Browning Assault Rifle is what it's called. Number of hits taken, 70. Number of objects destroyed, 14. Number of enemies killed, 49. Headshots, 16. Torso, 47. Groin, 25. Left leg, 9. Right leg, 11. Left arm, 9. Right arm, 22. Lead belly. All right, I'll take it. I'll take the lead belly. I mean, it's no nutcracker, but, you know, I get what I can. Vengeance Production. The Waffen SS are the toughest soldiers in the German war machine, and you're about to go up against the best of them. The best of the best of the best, sir. Uh, now that you've made it into the main production area of the Nordhausen, of Nordhausen, it's time to put our theories about the V2 to the test. As you know, we think the rockets are controlled by a navigational gyroscope that's programmed with a target's coordinates before launch. Ooh, that sucks. Procure a copy of the V2 schematics and analyze them. They should prove us right or wrong about the gyro control. If our assumptions are correct, you will need to calculate a new course and then recalibrate the gyro accordingly. It's time to tap back into all that aeronautical engineering education of yours. Oh, okay. Lieutenant, your objective, bring the rocket down on top of the facility. Oh, yeah, that's right. It launches up and it comes back down. Again, his French is atrocious, but our friend Dr. Grunick seems to indicate that, they're, that they've developed an experimental warhead for the rocket that yields almost three times the damage at the same time payload weight if this is true most everything in the facility will be destroyed by the impact so in addition to the actual v2 schematics be sure to locate a copy of the nordhaus and scientists roster the boys back at oss will be very curious to see it so basically what it comes down to is blow stuff up all right i can do that definitely can blow stuff up definitely just kablooey Kingdom come, blow everything to kingdom come. Get it out of here. Uh, also, get your own self out of the... Uh, get your own self out of there, Jimmy. Don't get yourself killed by, you know, sticking around. Wow, we still have the rocket launcher here, huh? All right. Okay. We're going to use it where we can... Oh, my God, it's a maze. It's a maze level. Where you're not really sure where you're supposed to go. Hey, you know what? It's already working. Come on, let's get in there. Okay, what are my objectives? Find the scientist roster, acquire V2 schematics, gain access to the guidance lab, sabotage the guidance system. All right. Not a problem. What's in here? Hey, we got goon number three hiding in here. Look at that guy. Oh, this is just a... Oh, this is just a hidden room. Oh, what does this do? Oh, that's nothing. Yeah, it's just a hidden room. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, somebody sounds very angry down there. I hope I don't have to deal with him. He just sounds... 
peeved. Very mad. And that's how you get them out. That's how you the lure them out. Just shoot your gun once and then they go, ah! Guy, kill him! I am definitely double checking on a lot of stuff here just in case because I do not want to die like I did in the last episode. If I even died, I'm on my All right, where are you guys? Where, oh, 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 I heard a grenade. I heard the grenade coming from somewhere. This really makes me want to play through uh, Wolfenstein, the New Order, and um, New Colo or Old Colossus, New Colossus, Old Blood, all those games. Makes me want to play through those. Except they're a little more... Um, those are a little more sensitive in some spots so definitely going to be putting a content warning on that one I am stuck in a damn maze trying to find my way out of this hold on yeah. oh shoot Ooh, that was close oh wow Right there. Right there. It damn near blew me up just trying to get through this spot. Wow, what an ass. You know, you guys can be a little more generous and not toss grenades at me. Schematics. Scientist. Okay, we. Okay, scientist roster. That's fine. That's fine. It is the first objective after all, so why not get that one first? Right, what else we got going on here? That fool. Yeah, what do we got? Health, I'll take it. Alright, anything else? Oh, holy moly. I should have let the grenade blow that guy up. I should have just let the grenade blow the dude up. Oh, we got two guys spinning doing uh, dance moves when they die. Nice. That's really cool, guys. You're, you, you're going to make it. Uh, maybe not, because you kind of died. So maybe not. Maybe I mean, you could have. You could have made it. Oh, there's that guy pissed off again. He's like, rrr, 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 rrr. what they need in this game, seriously. Well, if they ever were to remake Medal of Honor, which they probably won't, but what they needed was like a, a better aiming system. That's one of my biggest gripes of this game is the aiming system. It just kind of stinks. I thought I heard another guy over here. There he is. Ass hat. Jimmy, we need some health. Seriously, like, now. One more, a couple more good hits and you're done. So we just kind of got to... Gotta kind of get these guys from afar. Wow, I just could not say that one. There's the thing I'm looking for. Schematics. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That guy just didn't want to die. Good lord. Schematics acquired. I hope you guys drop some uh, health. I hope you drop some health. Oh my god. I, I mean, it's not much, but it's gonna help. Better than being in the red. Alright, so now we need to gain access to the guidance lab and destroy that too. Some 
American. You don't hear me say ah, it's a never mind. Oh, that was a close one. That was a close one. What is this? No, oh, nothing. Well, it's nice of you to know my name. Very nice of you to know my name, guys. Oh, they got medical canteens all over the place here. Okay, okay. Did I do it? Find a launch here. Okay, I screwed their, their guidance system up. That looked like Skynet from the uh, Terminator 2 arcade game. There's one spot where you fight Skynet and it's like this, you know, gyrosphere thing going around. It's very cool. Oh! Ah! Shoot! Okay. I knew that was going to happen because this is kind of a challenging level, so... Let's try and get through that again. It's... Bad guy number one. Right, you know, screw this. Eat a rocket. You know, I don't really need to pick up that giant thing of health just for that little bit right there. Unless I get shot a couple more times right now. Then, yeah. Bad guy number two, three, four. I'm done with this. We're going to go in guns a blazing. I think I got somebody. I think I got somebody. Oh. There's a guy all angry again. Alright, I think there was health right here. Yep. I thought I, I knew that I saw some health there. Did I get all of them? You know, I'm doing pretty well with the rocket launcher here. I'm not getting too close to anybody that can get me just possibly destroyed. Oh, hey, there was two guys in there. And we got the second one without even knowing it. All right, let's go back and get that health because I took a bit of, uh, bit of a beating here. Trying to get through this. Where is that health? There you are. Alrighty, where are it? Where is everybody? Not bad. Not bad at all. You managed to take them out and not get killed at the same time. You fools are getting nowhere to hide, alright? Nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide. Come on. Uh, one of these is a spot where I need to watch out because you got guys above me shooting at me. Is this it? Oh, whoa, 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 shoot. Uh, was this it? I see a scientist over there. And now he's gone. No, this wasn't it. It was the next... It was the next one over, but let's go pick up some of the health that I left around. On purpose, because I knew I would need it, and there's no reason to pick it up when you have just a little chunk of health there. Or a little, little tiny bit of health missing. 
I can't find it, I'm gonna be a little angry. Where was it? Was it this way? Yeah, there it was. I recall there being another one somewhere, but maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Oh, what am I doing? I can't even go that way. All right. Come on, guys. Let's go take out more of these uh, the bad guys here. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo here. All right, now uh, back to what I was doing before I got killed. The gyro sphere, gyro controls. Which, uh. We're actually over that way, not this way. Alright, open them up. Mess up their controls. And leave. Show up, mess things up, leave. That's how I would do it. All right. This is actually not where I got killed the last time. Uh, I think it was once we get through the little tunnel there is when I got killed. So be careful. Very careful, Jimmy. Very, very careful. Oh, yep. Look at that. Already pissing me off with your gunshots everywhere. I believe it was those guys. Those were the ones that were like, "Ah, we're gonna kill him," and I couldn't know. Maybe, maybe it was. I don't remember. But I couldn't make it to that, um... I could not make it to that health. Because they killed me before I even had a chance to look around and see what was even here. Oh, okay. I mean, that works too. That works too. Got him. Got him too. All uh, right. Oh, that was easy. That's the end of the level. I guess now we're going to launch the rocket. I think this is another short, short level. Um, much like the Mighty Greta, the Mighty Railgun Greta. Uh, this is a very quick area. Oh, no, that's the last mission. Okay. <laughs> this rare color footage captured by the Allies shows the early days of the German V-2 rocket program. Capable of hitting targets as far away as London, these so-called vengeance weapons were of great interest to the High Command. One can only imagine the devastation if the Nazis had succeeded with their heavy water research and perfected an atomic warhead. Just as the ME-163 had ushered in the jet fighter, the V-2 heralded the beginning of the Missile Age, the implications of which would carry through to all the generations of mankind to follow. All right, well, there we go, guys. Mission completed. I did not know that. Wait. No. No, no. No, no. We still have the other one, the the, the Grottenheim or something. I probably needed a certain amount of stars to get to that. So once we get done here, we will jump into that mission, too. So overall rating is... One star, 
Five objectives completed, number of shots fired, 250, number of hits taken, 108, accuracy, 43. Preferred weapon, bazooka, number of hits taken, 51, number of objects destroyed, 14, number of enemies killed, 51. Headshots, 3, torso, 41, groin, 31, I'm sorry, not 41, 40, groin, 31, left leg, 10, right leg, 5, left arm, 9, right arm, 26, Ribeye is our gunnery evaluation. Oh, look at that. We still continue. That's weird. I don't know why it did that little mission briefing thing in the middle of the thing. I mean, we'll find out here in a minute. That's why I was so confused. I was like, oh, that's the end of the mission? So, in the pandemonium of your assault, the Germans hastily loaded the sabotaged gyroscope into the rocket for an immediate launch. Dr. Gronick knows what you're up to so he's quietly made an exit along with someone named werner von braun before he departed gronick did you a big favor he cut the communications cable between nordhausen uh nord yeah nordhausen's command center and the launch gantry it goes without saying but the gantry will be heavily uh, defended You've got to make it down there, Patterson. It's the only place to manually launch the rocket. You'll find a set of auxiliary controls inside the blockhouse. Begin the launch sequence from there with the communications cut. There will be no way for, commun for the command center to stop it. If you were successful in sabotaging the gyro, the rocket, the V2 should go into gimbal lock just seconds after launch. Stay inside the blockhouse. It's been reinforced to survive explosions of this magnitude. When the rocket comes crashing down on top of you, it will be the only safe place in all of Dornhausen. Bond the chance, my dear friend. Good luck. I think this is the part I was talking about where they're like, ah, what are you doing? And the rocket comes back down and kills everybody in front of you. Um, I, I remember seeing it in a Medal of Honor game, but I don't remember which one it was. Because every single one of those games, you're blowing something up. All right, Pit Jimmy. I almost said Bimmy. The mission objective. Don't die. That is my main question here. Do not die. Or my main concern here, don't die. Oh, shoot. And look what happened. I died. Again. Maybe I don't mess with, uh... Oh, that's what got me. They got rock monsters too, the jerks. I really didn't need to pick up that whole thing, but... This is really the only way I can get through this area. Okay. There's the rocket, but before we go any further... Any further... Oh, hello. Oh, I don't want your grenade! Leave it! What idiots. What idiots. Uh, they just shot a rocket at me. Bunch of fools. Come on. Jimmy. I did say this was going to be a tough level, so we'll try not to die too much here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? We're just going to, we're just going to run through this crap right here. Screw this. There we go. That's really what I was trying to do before, and man, they got field surgeon packs all over this level.
Come on! Ah, you jerk! Oh, buddy, this is this is not fun. This is not fun at all. Just getting my ass handed to me left and right. I'm gonna need you guys to, you know, not show up with the grenade. I mean, your rocket launchers and everything. We don't want it. We don't need it. Go away. What's the most annoying part of this is trying to get through this section right here. I should have just kept going when I saw the rocket. I should have just kept going. But part of me is like, nah, nah, nah. See what's over here. See what's over there, you know? Got myself killed twice. And how exactly? There you go. Thanks. Oh, was I supposed to do? Was I not supposed to launch that rocket? I'm sorry. That thing sure is taking a long time to, you know, take off. Bye. Oops. I'm sorry. And goodbye. Audio is still very, very distorted in this game. That is one other gripe I have with this. Now, how in the hell am I supposed to even get out of here? Oh, okay. No one can guarantee success in war, but only deserve it. Winston Churchill. Well. And there we go. Victory! We are done. General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. <laughs> Ooh. Man, that sucks. That sucks, guys. That sucks for y'all. Anyways, overall rating, one star. Eh. Objective completed, one out of one, number of shots fired, 92, number of hits taken, 39, accuracy 42, preferred weapon bazooka for obvious reasons, number of hits taken, 45, number of objects destroyed, 9, number of enemies killed, 23, headshot 4, torso 27, groin 5, left leg 2, right leg 0, left arm 6, right arm 9, gunnery evaluation, belly buster. All right. Okay. Works for me. And with that, guys, we have come to the end of the episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one, and I really hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I had a lot of fun playing through this game again, and I'm really looking forward to playing through Medal of Honor Underground and Frontline as well as Rising Sun, which I won't do those right away. I have other games already scheduled to go out. Uh, if you've already caught my... Alan Wake playthrough that is already live so I'm going to be working on that too and then I have uh, Siphon Filter as well is going to be coming out soon too but um, definitely keep an eye out for 
You know, Alan Wake should already be at least a couple episodes in, and Siphon Filter probably won't be going up until after Alan Wake because I had to abruptly schedule that to premiere earlier than I wanted to. So keep an eye out for Alan Wake. That's a pretty short game. It's probably like eight missions or eight episodes. So I'm going to do that basically by episode. So each episode here is going to be an episode of the game. So some of those can be up to an hour long, but definitely check those out. And uh, with that said, guys, thank you again. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. Ring the bell to be notified when videos go live. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will catch you in the next episode. Y'all have a good one.